Ask I better tell you if the power structure of Columbia or South Carolina or North Carolina does not worry about all these churches rising up when they do wrong, then the church ought to take church off its name and just call itself a club because it's not doing what the Lord said to do. Jesus, and it doesn't honor Dr. King, did not the prophet Michael say, what does the Lord require? But to do justice, love mercy, and walk humbly before your Lord. So at times the church is guilty of abdicating who we are. Unless we stand for justice. We cannot claim allegiance to Jesus, and we cannot pay homage to Dr. King unless we're in the fight for treating people right. If I can help somebody, and it can't just be lip service. To so we had a plaintiff. Our first plaintiff, as I closed, was 92-year-old Reverend Rosa Nell Eaton. She spoke to a crowd of thousands and lit us on fire, and then she led a hundred of us to get arrested. All right. And the reporter asked us, said, why did you do that at 92? She says, well, I heard about the dream of my grandfather who fought to get out of slavery. She said, I started on this journey. God gave me what I needed. She said, I've kept my eye on the way of the Lord, and he gave me what I needed. Then the interviewer said, but why at 92? She says, because I know who I is. <laughs> she said, and all I know is when, I, when you serve the Lord, you got to promise him to work till the day is done. She said, and I tend, intend to do all I can until my day is done and God will give me what I need. And I stopped by this pre-rally at this church to say God will give divine resources to his dreamers. Am I right about it? When Moses dreamed and divine Pharaoh, God gave him what he needed to open the Red Sea. When David dreamed and defied Goliath, God gave him what he needed to bring Goliath down. When Shadrach, Meshach, and that bad Negro dreamed and defied the rule of Nebuchadnezzar, God gave him what he needed to stand in the fire. When Jesus dreamed and defied the enemy, God gave him what he needed and rose him up on the third day morning. When Harriet Tubman dreamed and defied slavery, God gave her what she needed to overcome epilepsy and build an underground road. When Rosa Parks dream and defied segregation. God gave her what she needed to sit down that we might stand up. When God, when young people dream and defied racism in Mississippi and South Carolina for Freedom Summer, God gave them what they needed to change the world. When Fannie Lou Hamer dreamed of being sick and tired and sick and tired, God gave her what she needed to overcome. When Nelson Mandela dreamed and defied apartheid, God gave him what he needed to fight for liberation. When God gave him what he needed to make it through all the lies and all the hate and all the mean money.